I can't see. I've got a, mirror, a camera in front of me. Hello, everyone. Raymond Morton. Cynthia Moore. And how's everybody doing tonight? Can we move this over just a little bit, please? All I can... How? Well, we're going to do that. It's okay. So. It's all right. I can, it's can you easier. still? Can you I still... scoot over? Yeah. You want me to sit closer to you? Well, there we go. There we... <laughs> we're adjusting our we seats adjusting. and okay. getting used to. I am pulling us up on my computer, so. so. How's everybody doing? We got all the dogs and everything down here. Yeah, we didn't get them. And so. We didn't um, get them put away. But how many people are in the room? Do me a favor. Can you hear us? Give me a thumbs up or something like that if you can hear us. And uh, let us know the microphone's okay. Um, uh, hanging out here. Let's see how many people show up. So, but. Let me say, I am here. You're here. Yep. Okay. So tonight we are talking about luxury items during SHTF. And a lot of times, I mean, this is something that kind of a lot of people poo-poo on. And uh, it was like, coffee, we don't need no stinking coffee. Oh, jeez, I need my stinking coffee. Yeah. And so it's, uh, you know... But there's a I, I, I'm of the mindset that luxuries are needed. And, uh, you know, if if it is truly an SHTF situation, then uh, it's going to be kind of ugly. And, you know, something about the luxury items, what they do is help motivate you and feel help you better. Yeah, help you, you feel, feel better. better. You don't know, do better, feel better. Yeah. Take my coffee away. I am not going to feel good. Nope. Thank you. You don't want me not having coffee. Yeah. Yep. So <laughs> <laughs> he says from experience. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's it's uh, a real you know thing that's I, I I see this a lot in prepper groups and everything. People are talking about you know luxury items and everything. Oh, they're just such a waste of time. You're not going to have a chance to do it and everything. And I or use them or anything like that. And I find that the people who talk mostly about this are people who are of the bug out mindset and so they can't carry it in their bug out bag or anything so but uh if you saw my video earlier today was it today or yesterday i posted one on you know bugging out as opposed to bugging in and i'm of the mindset that bugging out is really not a practical thing to do and I think it's something that, you know, Hollywood movies have really pushed. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's just, it's not realistic. I mean, do you see yourself, you know, if something happened, <laughs> are you going <laughs> to? Well, this is all new to me. So this is all, you know, brand new stuff anyway. But I, after watching enough Naked and Afraid, I can't see me going out, leaving our house, going out into the woods and living by trying to make fire with a... Um, a bow drill. A bow drill and stuff like that. I mean, bring a lighter along. Yeah. Just but it's, it's you know, these, these are I things. I think you can be prepared and still be balanced. Yeah. That's the whole thing. You've got to be balanced in everything you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's, you know, and I think that's what a lot of people forget. They're, they're all into the roughing it and everything mm -hmm. that they don't really think about you know, enjoying the finer things in life because it's even during the great depression, there were, there were things that really something to people. Mm -hmm. Linda, how you doing? And uh, I remember, you know, watching this, you know, having a cake and, you know, you celebrate the luxuries mm -hmm. and it's just something that you just don't delve into all the time. They're luxuries, but they're motivators. And I, and I think they're highly important and, you know, I and I tonight we're going to list and talk about a lot of luxuries or what I consider luxuries or 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 things. But Which I consider necessities. <laughs> Your luxuries are my necessities. But they're they're things. <laughs> but that, they're okay. Yeah, it's okay to be balanced mm -hmm. and, and I don't want to be eating grubs for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. You know, and I would like to have brownies every so often and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's, uh, I'm getting ahead of you. That's Sorry. okay. No, 
that's quite okay. Um, cause brownies is one of those things that we consider one of our luxuries. Mm -hmm. So Linda says we're buffering She's buffering, or she's buffering. So, but, uh, survival items and, and let me just, this is something that I got here and these Yum. are Augustine farms, banana chips. And, uh, and for some people, uh, and I, I, this is a kind of a twofold luxury item. One, some people look at survival food as a luxury item and, you know, we're going to do it all our own and we're going to, you know, you know, dehydrate everything. I'm going to have 500 pounds of rice, beans and wheat and, and everything. And they look at, you know, having long term food as as a luxury item. But these are, you know, banana chips, you know, these are 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 a good thing to have on hand. And in fact, right now, speaking of August and Farms, uh, August and Farms beef flavored vegetarian meat yes, substitute is on sale, aka TVP, textured vegetable protein, is basically what it is. But let me put the uh, link in there. That's this a great is sale. a great sale. It's selling for $12.49. And the reason I put this in here is because um, I use TVP, I haven't used it a lot with you, but prior. I used to use it all the time and TVP. What's the great thing about TVP is, and it's textured vegetable protein is that it helps you spread your meat out further. And, and so there's taco TVP, there's beef TVP, uh, What's TVP? textured vegetable protein. Okay. okay. Or, you know, here they're calling it beef flavored vegetarian meat substitute. But I call it TVP, textured vegetable <laughs> protein. protein. It's TVP. And, um, but it's a great way to stretch your, your hamburger meat. And, you know, one pound of hamburger meat to usually one cup of TVP or three quarter cups of TVP. And a lot of times TVP is seasoned. And, and I haven't tried the Augs and Farms. I'm buying some tonight. So are we going to try that and then cook it and then we can do it on the show? Just yeah, let's to, do that. Because yeah. I've never had any of these survival foods. I'd like to taste. I mean, I've had the ones that you've put in other things. Yeah. But I like to actually cook how they have you cook it and see what it tastes like. Okay. Okay. So that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, textured vegetable protein. So I'm going to get some tonight, but 1249, I suggest getting a couple cans of those. Those are good to have on hand. They help stretch your hamburger meat or they mm -hmm. help stretch your beef and, and everything. And then another thing that uh, watching naked and afraid and, and it's funny how much this is influencing us and things is you guys stop hey, it. Hey, we have, our two little ones are yeah. Our two little puppies right. These are, are being rambunctious. Yes, and they're knocking my big ones knocking my computer over. <laughs> so, but um, we in watching te uh, Naked and Afraid. One of the things that oh. I noticed them is they got horrible fire starters. Yes, I even the, know that <laughs> they got these little brick things with a little ferium rod on it, and and they, they just suck because the little ferium rod eventually wears out. The magnesium is is crappy and everything like that. But uh, one, several people have the, the fast fire or fire fast uh, fire starter. And it's a big, beefy fire starter. Stop hey, it. Stop, little guys. Freddy. Freddy, let's we'll check if we can go put them away. Yeah, do that. Okay. They're being rambunctious I'm over gonna there. I'm going to put your fire starter in there because I know this is a good one. Yeah. And the ones that use a naked and afraid are just. Yeah, it's, it's, they're using the, the fire fast fire starters. They're, yeah. they're big, beefy. Fire starter, Thank you. I'll be right back. and uh, Give me a boy, girl. it's a great, great Give me a item. But yeah. this is, you know, for some people, it's it's a luxury, and I'm all about. And, and Cynthia and I talk about it all the time. Hey, if we're ever on naked and afraid, you know, the one thing that I'm taking is a stinking decent fire starter, and you know, a lot of these little magnesium blocks and everything. Here's our bed. Yeah, our bed. they're being bad. These are our bad kids. They're going upstairs to give so, us some quiet. But uh, on, on Naked and Afraid, these people bring these little block fire starters, and they're just horrible. They don't do anything. It's, you know, they're always flicking them and having a hard time lighting them and everything. And so I'm a big, you know, get the fast, I uh, fire fast and, uh, or fast fire. And they're, they're, a magnesium thing is about that big. The ferium rod is about that big. It's about that long, and it's on a big handle. 
and it's got a good scraper to it and everything. And, you know, it's amazing to me how many people think, oh, I don't need to get something that big. If you're really having to use it, then yeah, that is something that you need. And it's a huge fire starter. So, um, but those are just some of the survival items that I consider, you know, luxuries. Let's see, what else do I got over here? I thought I had something else, but I don't. Um, but, uh, so survival items, I'm going to kind of be going through lists here, here. Sometimes August and farms on sale is cheaper than doing it yourself. Never hurts. It. Totally agree, Katie. I mean, I, I point this out to so many people who are in, in some of the Facebook groups and everything like that. Cause I remember I bought this for nine 99. They had a, a sale and it was like 99 and nine 95. And so I bought four cans of it at that price. You just can't beat it. But, uh, People are like, oh man, why don't you just get a bunch of, you know, do it and hydrate yourself and, and which I've done and everything, but it is, it's cheaper just to get that for $9.99. A lot of people don't look into the time effort and then also the supplies and everything like that. Whereas if you just would have bought some of the stinking augers and farms, you've been done and over with it and, you know, good to go. And so, yeah, I totally agree with you, Katie. Uh, everybody's uh, everyday survival. Maccabus, every day is probably how good are you? Good, bud. And so uh, Linda Bob says, big lighters. Totally agree. Totally agree. And then um, other things. And um, doggone it. Here, hold on five seconds. You know, we're both unprepared here. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about these because not only are these great luxury items, these are great for barter, cigars. Uh, a lot of people think about having cigarettes on hand to barter with, and they really are not the greatest thing in the world. They break down really quick, even if you wrap them in plastic and you throw them in the freezer and everything. The the lifespan of them are maybe a year at the most. Um and then uh, the paper, and this is what a lot of people don't don't remember, is that the paper starts to degrade. And so cigarettes are not a good luxury item to store. And so um, cigars, cigars oh, are meant to, you know, store long term and squeeze on in here. Get in here. So cigars are meant to, you know, be stored a long time. And if you keep them properly humidified, take care of them and all that other stuff, they'll last years. I mean, you can go to a fine cigar shop and usually they have a, a section where they'll have um, really old cigars. I mean, cigars from the 60s, 70s and, and later. And, you know, you're going to pay a pretty penny for them. But cigars will last. So if you're looking for a good barter item as well as a luxury item look into cigars really really good and then another vice item of course whiskey and uh again i'm not telling you guys to consume these things all the time and uh again when when was the last time i had a cigar like a year ago oh yeah when Absolutely. matt and michelle were here when matt and michelle were here it's been so, a good year yes and then you know uh I'll have a dram of whiskey every once in a blue moon or something, but, uh, you know, I don't have it, but it's nice to have on hand and in a SHTF situation, you know, just pausing and taking some time out of life is really needed. And so having a good cigar, having a nice whiskey and everything is, is really something that is a good idea. And then on top of that, this is something that... Oh, this is so This cool. is so cool. I'm going to put that link in there, too, because I yeah, love this, this thing. This thing is cool. And what it this is, is, really cool. is a smoker for your whiskey. And um, this was gifted to me. And uh, But what you do is you put this on top of your whiskey glass, and it, it smokes into your whiskey. So it kind of gives your whiskey a nice caramely, smoky mm -hmm. flavor. But you can get all different flavors. Like uh, I think I've got oak on this one, 
but you can get hickory and applewood and all kinds of it's of just smoker. a cool gift it's a cool I gift mean, it was a cool gift we were yeah. so excited about it we love to use it just because it's so different it's, it's so cool but, everybody we've used it with loves it too yeah because the whiskeys taste good it's so it, it is such a great idea for a you know time out and and like, again uh, learning to deal with your stress, learning to handle problems and everything is really important. And how do you deal with all this stuff that's going on? How do you just kind of basically step back, take a time out and enjoy a little bit of luxury? Uh, you know, when SHTFs. I don't think that I'm on. I'm going to have to go back into, excuse me. I'm not ignoring everybody. I have my computer here so I can read what you're saying, but I'm not back on youtube for some reason i'm going to go back and reload it because well, all it's doing is just going in circles hopefully i'm not can everybody still hear me okay hopefully there's no buffer problems or anything there we go let's see if that works oh there we go and i don't cool. think it posted my last post yeah let me try that again yeah the next one that uh, I've got here, and I found a really good sale on Amazon for this as well. And this is, uh, and I don't, Bustello, Cafe de Bustello. I love these. And in fact, it was Rudy, the Alaskan prepper, who turned me on to this. And the reason I like these is because they're vacuum packed mm -hmm. and they're square. So they it means stack. you can stack. You can stack a bunch of them. That's cool. But you can get a case of 12 right now for $38.30. And I I I have got to have my coffee. I don't know about you. I need my coffee. A case of 12 of those for $38. Yeah. That's so much less expensive. Yeah, than this was five own. something at the store. Yeah. Amazing and, compared to the Keurig yeah. cups. But I've got to have my coffee. And we've got a, as we have a number of backups, you know, two is three rule, but we've got a percolator uh, coffee pot. I have one of those aluminum sit on the stove, mm -hmm. espresso pots. Um, and then I use my French press all the time to make this every day and things. But I really like this. This is really good coffee. Uh, it's more of an espresso grind, but it's super strong. I like strong coffee. But you can also, you know, you, you don't have to put as much in or, or whatever to make it a little bit weaker. But I do enjoy a nice cup of coffee. And but this to taste our coffee too. This like is really, like this is really good. And but I really like this because it's square. It's vacuum sealed. How many ounces is that? This is 10 ounces. 10 ounces. Each brick is 10 ounces. And uh, but it stacks. This is what I really like about this. It stacks, you know. And it's airtight. And it's airtight. I mean, it's totally vacuum so, sealed. I mean, here. Yeah. So it's it's great thing. And I want to thank Rudy for turning me on to this stuff. But uh, a case of it is 38 bucks at Amazon. You get a case of 12, which I think is a really good deal. And, and a lot of these things, luxury items, buy them and just never touch them. Yeah, that way you have them for, you know, the apocalypse and when the zombies are invading and everything like that. <laughs> but or if you do rotate, you know, like natural and right. just keep them going and, and stuff. But again, it's amazing to me in all these Facebook groups and everybody, how many people poo poo coffee? Oh, you're not going to be able to have coffee. I'm having coffee, folks. <laughs> so but uh, coffee and then another one is let's see here no i've got my my little stash of stuff over here that i'm may i ask you a quick question sure i just wrote back to linda i did at linda bot but it did not highlight her name it'll highlight for her oh so linda gets to see it. it's highlighted on her computer yeah it says it's highlighted in mine or yours yeah okay so it's highlighted on hers see how mine is highlighted uh-huh and everything so because mine isn't highlighted i think i'm just here, hold on. Let me do something here. Here. Okay. So now yours will be highlighted or should be. So oh, I feel we're slowly figuring this stuff yeah. out, folks. Sorry. <laughs> it's been it's been a long day today. Yeah. Been with, talking to a lot of people today, so it's been a long day. Other things are. Uh, let's see. Um, I thought I had this. Where is this? Betty I bought Carter? it. Yeah. 
Betty Crocker baking that's Duncan chocolate chips. Hines. Yeah, it's Duncan Hines, but uh, I found some Betty Crocker. Um, it's right in there. I saw it. No, some, but on sale at Amazon. Oh, I see. And it's seven or eight bucks. Let me see if I can pop it up here real quick, folks. Amazon. Betty Crocker baking mix, chocolate chip cookie mix, snack size. Pack no, nine. this is the this is a Betty Crocker. No, it's Duncan Hines dark chocolate fudge brownie mix. That's what I like right uh, there. Right there. Mm -hmm. And you get six bat six eighteen ounce bags for eight dollars and twenty eight cents. Do I have that on here? No, I thought that's I, what I like. So yeah, well. I, that's what I wanted. So that's what I got out last um, night when I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so I get it out in the middle of the night. Copy. So and then paste. I'm going to paste this into the comments, folks. But this is Betty uh, or whatever Duncan pay, Hines. Duncan Hines. And it for you're going to get six bags, so basically six of these for eight dollars and no seven dollars. If you use the subscribe and save, it's seven dollars and 87 cents for six boxes of this, but a one time purchase is eight dollars and 28 cents. And so I just popped it in here and do me a favor, Cynthia, mm -hmm. uh, copy that, that, that link, okay, and uh, you know give a description on that too but it's duncan oh. hines right here dark chocolate fudge brownie mix and and i say that because we love our brownies and i i love these now are these super long term no they're not uh the best used date on this is what um so these you'd have to you have to rotate them you have to rotate them and everything so this is 2026. Okay, so that's three years. Three years. And so with that, you add a couple more, you know, a couple more years to it and everything, and it's still mm -hmm. good. But 2026. That and isn't going to be around in 2026. No, it's not going to be going around for 2026. <laughs> not in our house. <laughs> but uh, I wonder why for I can't get my this will make you a nine by nine pan. And all you need is two eggs, one, you know, two tablespoons of water and two third cups of oil. And, and so these are great little things. And then uh, Augustine Farms, and I need to look that up. I know Thrive makes a brownie mix that you just need water. That's really good. We've had yeah, that Yeah, we've had. That's really, really, really good. good. <coughs> Thrive. But I need to see if Augustine Farms has any. This dark chocolate chewy brownie mix mm -hmm. is really good. This is the first time I think we've had the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. And it is really chocolatey. It is really good. It is interesting. Linda... I am looking into a company yes, he is. right now that specializes in sugar-free, gluten-free, and uh, diabetics and stuff. He's diabetic, so he really shouldn't be eating this stuff yeah, either. either. So, Linda, you can tell him, no, 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 But no, no. Um, I'm, I'm looking into a company right now, and they have a sugar-free, gluten-free brownie mix and blondie mix. And then also they have other drinks and puddings and creams and are uh, they survival type foods? I mean, are they long term it, foods? Believe it or not, my dad used to sell these. That's when, right. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. So this was this was survival food that my dad used to sell, and um, shows you how long I've been doing the survival thing. And um, but it's uh, it's now it's made for nursing homes and hospitals and schools and and stuff like that but i'm going to be contacting this company because there's a lot of people out there that are diabetic mm -hmm. can't have sugar can't or, or gluten intolerant and, right. and some of these other things and so um if i find out more information about that i'll be letting you guys know we so should that, do a show on that for you know the, for the people that do and you know, there are people that have celiac disease yeah. people that have irritable bowel i mean there are a lot of things mm -hmm. that people a lot of the population cannot eat yeah just yep. like the brownie mix. Yeah. You shouldn't be eating that. <laughs> he makes it for me and then I eat it. Yeah. So and he eats it too. I'll eat it too. But I don't He's eat a, 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 a whole boatload of it yeah. or anything like that. But these are things that are great to have on hand. You know, for those of you who can, you know, eat these things. But these make great, you know, surprises or great luxuries. And I totally believe in these things. You know, if, if you're having a hard day, it's SHTF, you're out working in the field, you're doing whatever, it's, you know, you're slaving away. This 
is a motivator. And so it will help you when you come home. And it's like, man, you made me brownies, Cynthia. This is so wonderful. And, you know, it's these little things. And that's what luxuries are, right. are little things that make a big difference. You don't live off of them or you don't you know, you abuse them or anything like that. But they are things that you can, you know, then. A little bit of happy in this, in yeah. this dark world. And, and that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> this is Liam. Do not eat my brownies. Do not <laughs> eat my brownies. <laughs> So Unfortunately, what? he keeps feeding me brownies and I keep getting bigger and bigger. COVID, I have the COVID 30 on me. I actually have the COVID 40 on me now. So other things, you know, these stuff like these, these our, are this for, daughter. for our daughter. And so I've stocked up on these. Kroger's has a, a breakfast bar that you can get for like a buck 50, a buck 80. And uh, she likes those as well. And, and so we stock up on these. The best what do those cost uh, per these were something like uh, I bought these on sale, and so they were something like a buck fifty a box. Oh, really? I scored, and and this sounds <laughs> bad, but I scored uh, Kroger's right now, and at least our Kroger's has Spaghettios for for on sale for a buck a can, and so ten for a dollar. Get ten for a, ten for ten dollars. I'm sorry, but, yeah, yeah, buck a can. Um, hey Holly, how you doing? And uh, and so I I bought twenty cans. And because that's something that's a treat for us, you know, is it something we're going to be living off of all the time? No, but those are the little treats that are, are nice to have around and everything. And, and they have the, they have them with hot dogs yeah, with, with meatballs and also plain SpaghettiOs. So. And then they also have the, the, with calcium too. Oh, even so, with calcium? Mm -hmm. That's good so, for, for my kids. But they had these on sale and these are great little treats if you got kids. They're, and, they're good for the snack at, yeah. at school too. But yeah, is this there, is what we primarily get them for. So she's mm -hmm. got a school snack and, and things like that. But I buy these things, you know, I go to Kroger's all the time and I'm always looking for the sales. Mm -hmm. And so always buying the sales. And whenever I see a really good sale, I'll stock up on it. And, you know, if it's, you know, 75 cents, buck a can, then I'll sit and buy like 20 of them or something like that. And so and they like last during a long time. Yeah, like Christmas time, uh Walmart had a really good sale on corn and green beans. They were 50 cents a can. And so I bought several flats of those so that we'd have greens and corn, you know, corn and green beans. And these canned items last forever, folks, as long as the cans are not rusted, dented, you know, expanding or anything like that. Now, eventually, over the long term, you know, the food's going to break down and everything. But as long as it is there, it's going to still taste good. And in fact, uh, Eric, Doc Eric over at uh, Goshen Prepping did a really good uh, video on canned foods. So mm. go over there and check that out. And But these are things that are just... These are luxuries. Now, you know, our, our, is our daughter going to munch on these all the time, every day and everything? SHTF situation? No. We're going to, you know, dole them out to her and everything. But they are, you know. And she good. thinks they're a big deal. To her, yeah. they are a big deal. Yeah. So they mean a lot to her. Yeah. That's like a real treat for her. Mm -hmm. Katie said, you know, normalcy for kids is a big deal. That and is that, a big that deal. That is Absolutely, so true. Katie. And that's, I, and, and that's, this is, this, that is a great statement. Normalcy for anybody is yeah. a big deal. That is so true. And that's why we believe in having brownies and mm -hmm. coffee and things like that. Cause it's normalcy. It is. And the and, world is crazy. It still feels like you're doing something special mm -hmm, for yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other things are, you know, we've got packs of Betty Crocker, you know, peanut butter cookies. We got packs of uh, Betty Crocker, you know, chocolate chip cookies and and stuff. And so these those are, are good too. I'll put I have links know. for those. Yeah, put those in too. I'll put those in. Um, as long as I'm but, sitting here, make myself useful. But yeah, the Betty Crocker. In fact, there was a, a sale. A Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. Uh, nine uh, nine packs for $17. So um, I think there's something now about 250, 275, maybe even more at the store, but you can get them on Amazon, nine packs of them for 1701. So put that sale. Did I do that one? I don't know if you did or not. It's just up. I put the cinnamon toast crunch cookie mix. Oh, that one right sounds here. good. It's right underneath coffee. We have all these things lined out. It's my script. 
Well, that way, so, that way we don't, we you don't know, crash when we're sharing these not, things, when I'm finding these things, I want to share them with yeah, you. He keeps a list to share everything. You know, they're such great deals. But it's, you know, in today's, money. in today's world, you want to be able to save as much money. And since we're preppers, we like to kind of buy in bulk. I'm all about buying in bulk. Um, oh, tell him about how much you saved at Kroger yesterday. Oh, I saved something like uh, over $50 and uh, shopped a bunch of sales, mm -hmm. had a big basket, you know, load and everything. And then also and the Friday, Friday was, uh, I get emails from Kroger's. And so Kroger's sells gas here in our area. Mm -hmm. And so they gave us four times fuel points. And so I was able to fill up our car for, it, it was just at 40 bucks. And so, so which, you save 50 and you filled the car up for 40 and save, save it up for you know, for 40, which would That's normally a, have been about maybe 50, maybe $55. So saved money there, saved money uh, at, you know, grocery shopping because nowadays what I do when I, when we grocery shop, uh, we, we, I really just buy sales and then, you know, I buy milk or perishable items. It's basically because we're always rotating our pantry. Anytime we, you know, I see that we're going low or anything, I'll stock things up. But our pantry is basically our grocery store. And so that saves a lot of money for us in the long run as well. So, but uh, other luxuries, and I meant to bring them, but we've got these plastic waterproof playing cards. And oh, so entertaining items, you know, entertainment items are, are, are really good to have on hand. And, you know, but I've got the, they're by bicycle and they're uh, plastic cards that are completely waterproof and things. And then also, $9 and 44 cents. Yep. Yeah, and then also Uno, uh, I found Uno makes some plastic uh, waterproof cards and so having these things in, in your, in your, in your, you know, again, it's bringing back normalcy, mm -hmm. bringing back and, and people would say, oh, these are luxuries. These are luxuries. And, you know, like, no, they're not. These are things that you could actually, you know, they help bring back the good old days. And, and especially if you have children. Yeah. Especially if you got kids, kids around the table and, mm -hmm. and playing a game of, old maid or Uno yeah. or something like that mm -hmm. with some brownies and mm -hmm. a cup it, of coffee it really Dress makes <laughs> it really makes a you know makes a day uh there's another fun game and i learned this when i was living over in germany it's uh called roll your pigs puzzles too linda's right puzzles are great. totally really agree good. we've got puzzles for for sarah mm -hmm. and everything but pigs and and what Excuse you got there's these little there's these little pigs and here put that link up and, and what it is, is, you know, you roll these pigs and the way the roll pigs lay. Pigs. Yeah. Roll your pigs. <laughs> really? And how the pigs <laughs> lay down is how many points. Oh, and uh, maybe some of you guys are. Uh, Has anybody played roll your pigs before? Or pigs. They're, and instead of throwing dice, you throw pigs. Yeah, Holly says Uno is their go-to game. Yeah. Holly but, must have children. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, if your pig lands on its snout or if it lands on its back or lands on its side or lands uh, standing up or, you know, whatever, <laughs> each each one is a different point. And, uh, yeah. you know, dominoes, dominoes, another good one. Absolutely. You know, Linda. so but these are these are great games to have on hand. And we're slowly building our game, our game supply. And, uh, you know. But we we do those and, you know, games are good. It helps pass the time. Sarah loves playing games mm -hmm. and everything. We got her with shoots and ladders right now. And uh, what is it? Candyland? Yeah. Katie just says she, she has those plastic cards. She says her daughter used to love to play Uno in the pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's normalcy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grandkids, Grandkids, Cynthia. Cynthia I'm, I'm getting, getting old. old. <laughs> yeah. We, ours is a grandchild, too. Yeah. We just... Yeah. She's adopted us as mommy and daddy, so, so we we refer to ourselves as mommy and daddy. Mm -hmm. But we we are older parents, mm -hmm. <laughs> but mm -hmm. she's worth it. She's a good kid. But um, so and then uh, dice. You know, there's so many games that you can play with dice. Mm -hmm. So dice, dice, and the dice cup, and uh, you know stuff like that. These are again small little things that you can have on hand that make a big difference that bring yeah. back luxury and bring back normalcy and and so forth. Um and then uh something and I meant to to get it. It's on my bookshelf. 
but I actually have a waterproof Bible. And serious. Yeah. Yeah. Really? It's a waterproof Bible. And um, and you know, I think I have I have this under my my what I'm sorry, Holly has her grandkids too. Mom and dad are out there somewhere. Oh wow. Yeah, Holly, I can relate with mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Yeah, we brought ours here to Virginia to get away from mm -hmm. uh, the bad influence that she was under. So yeah. different child living here. Mm -hmm. Different child. But, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt yeah, you. But I, talking uh, about your Bible. Yeah, I'm just thinking about time hanging out, um, uh, just hanging out by yourself or hanging out in towns. And then, you know, but uh, get yourself a portable camping chair. And uh, I'm one who who's a Christian and loves the Lord and, you know, believes in his word. But having a waterproof Bible is another great that luxury. That is a really good you know, idea. Yeah, it's over on my bookshelf. I should. Mm -hmm. I, there's so many things I should have brought over here, but I didn't, of course. Uh, but Katie, Katie just said Goodwill is a good place to pick up games, too. That's really that totally true. true. That's really true. But And you're not going to break the bank doing it that way. Mm -hmm. And then uh, getting into, and, and this is where I think we're probably going to spend a lot of time. Oh, here's your waterproof Bible. And that is personal care items. And um, I'm all about personal care because during an SHTF situation, what's going to be taking place is that we're going to be, you know, working harder. We're going to be under more stress. We're going to be, you know, just freaking out more or just, you know, stressing over money it's going to be just stressing over everything like we are right now, you know. And so, you know, but I think personal care is is important. And in doing research, it was interesting uh, during World War II when food and everything and everybody was stressed out and all that other stuff. Women used the, any extra money. Their egg money. And yeah, egg money. That's what my grandma had was her egg money. And uh, they would buy lip lipstick. And, you know, so. Probably red lipstick. That I don't know was about grandma's, but red lipstick was that was important during that time, and you know, so uh, women, you know, luxury items for women are are a lot of you know the the makeups and you know all these other things, but uh, luxury items that I've put down is like having a toiletry kit and just having it completely stocked with everything that you need: toothpaste, mm -hmm. shaving cream. This, that, the other, you know, maybe some some aspirins or something, but build yourself a a a travel kit, and uh, that's just something that is good to have. And then there's two things here, and Cynthia can attest to this. <laughs> yeah, the, is, if you're over fifty, yeah, <laughs> these two yeah, things these are two a things. necessity. Red Tiger Balm <laughs> and uh, Absorbing Junior. Absorbing Junior. <laughs> Forget the perfume. Yeah. Smell like absorbing junior. <laughs> but whenever I then, whenever I work are... out in outdoors or I'm working in the garden, I'm, <laughs> I'm just really hitting it hard and everything. These are the two things I use in conjunction. You know, I'll have Cynthia put on some red tiger balm first, mm -hmm. and then she'll rub that in and massage it in and stuff. And then she pours on some absorbing junior. And both of these are inexpensive, and and but my they goodness, work. they totally work. Because for us guys, you know, going to bed with sore muscles and everything, which during an SHTF situation, you're going to have a lot of sore muscles. So think about these things, guys, so that you'll be able to at least go to bed, move, and move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know, but uh, those are those are two of the things that I really thought of. And then um, uh, something that I buy for Cynthia a lot is Dr. Teal's Epsom salts. Yes. And uh, and in fact, what you can do is even buy like a giant bag of Epsom salts. You can get like 20, 25 pounds of, of Epsom salts rather inexpensively. Mm -hmm. These are great, again, luxury items that will help, you know, alleviate stress. And if you buy, if you buy like the, um, like the doctor, doctor, um, teals mm -hmm. and you buy also a plain epsom salt you can mix, mix them the together you and... still get the smell and the wonderfulness coming out of the water mm -hmm. but, but it you're makes stretching it, it. you're really stretch it out a lot yeah. a lot but uh 
Dr. Teal's, she loves it and, and everything. I buy her the lavender one all the time. And the one that smells like eucalyptus. Yeah, that that's, the, that's, that's the, uh, the relaxing okay. method. It's, oh, it's a lavender and, and eucalyptus. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I love that stuff. Yeah, but she uses that a lot in the tubs because she takes a lot of baths and stuff. But then um, what I'm going to do is kind of turn this over to Miss Cynthia and, uh, you know, talk about some of the things that she has oh. and, uh, you know, or I'll start talking. But she talks about, uh, she named off Mary Kay Extra Emollient Night Cream. I use two products. I, I used to buy all of, like, I used the whole Clinique line. Then I used to use the... Um, you know, I, I used to use all the ones you'd go to the store. You'd have to go to Sephora to buy all these wonderful night creams and all that kind of stuff. And then I found this. This is this is made in France. It's called Lacatum. And there are not that many stores mm -hmm. anymore out there of this brand mm -hmm. because they're selling it now on Amazon and they sell it, you know, every other way you can get it. This is actually a hand cream. And I use it for everything. I use it as my nighttime moisturizer. I use it when I get out of the bathtub. I use it. I mean, you can use it anywhere. I don't think there's a part of me that hasn't had this on it at one time because mm -hmm. it's just the greatest stuff. It's like um, how much it's, is 30 it? bucks. it's $30 for this tube and the tube lasts forever. But it gets rid of if you if you don't want to keep buying all of the expensive moisturizers. You know, and I used to do buy them all because I was trying to find that miracle cure that would keep me from growing older. And then I just decided, eh, I'm going to grow older. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to fight it all the way, but I'm going <laughs> to enjoy myself all the way. This stuff is wonderful. I just squeeze it into a little tiny container I have on my countertop in the bathroom and just dip my finger in and slather it on and go. This and... Uh, do you have any of the shea butter? This is this is maybe oh that's butter. that's your shea butter okay yeah in and where you is don't my, I didn't oh, I didn't, didn't grab your, my I didn't grab Mary my Kay. Mary Kay yeah okay I'll put the link to that that's the other thing it's basically the Mary Kay is basically like an evolved um, Vaseline mm -hmm. but it does not and it's great it's great on your hands it's great on your face it's great on your neck you can put it anywhere it doesn't clog up your pores which is really really nice too. And you just go to bed and you wake up in the morning and you're still moist from this. So it's real sexy at night. I got this white stuff on here and then I got the Mary Kay on over on everything else. But it does keep your skin moisturized. And we're in a place which, which is much drier here mm -hmm. than being in Texas. Mm -hmm. Texas was very humid, so you weren't always as dry. It's much drier here. But I love these two products. Yeah. And it's gotten rid of all those other ones I was buying. And mm -hmm. I'd buy them and then give them away to people because I didn't like them. They didn't do anything or they were mm -hmm. dry too too crispy or too white or mm -hmm. whatever. So these two things have been wonderful. Well and and then with Mary Kay went on there too. Something oh, I want to mention is that you know awesome luxury items and and now this again is 30 bucks. But she's had this tube like for freaking oh, ever. Had that tube for a long time. You know? And and so when you buy you know at least personal care items some of the stuff is is going to be expensive, but it's good and it lasts, it lasts forever, forever. You know, and I don't like to waste money no. on things that that I'm not going to use. I've wasted too much money over the course of my life. I should have skin like a 14 year old for all the products I've used <laughs> over the years. Mm -hmm. But but these two really do work. Mm -hmm. They really do. Now another thing that she and uses... if you don't like it, send it to me and I'll pay you for it because mm -hmm. I love the products. Yeah. This, if you don't, if you buy this and you don't like it, send yeah, it to her and she'll pay you for it. I'll pay you for it because I love the stuff. Yeah. But uh, another thing that she uses is Moroccan oil. Yep. And I did and... bring that. I, I use this mostly for Sarah. It's, and it's a little pricey. Yeah. It's 50 bucks a bottle. It is. It's 50 bucks a bottle. It lasts a long time. And it's an oil. And you can see it's just a little, I can't see what the thing is. It's just a little oil. Yeah. And you can use it on your face. You can use it on your body. You can use it everywhere. For Sarah, what I do is I put it, run it in my hands and see how dry this hair looks. And I run it through her hair and it keeps her hair from, from um, tangling so badly. And I'll run it through her hair and then I braid her hair because she's seven and she's everywhere. And her hair is, and it's always, curly. And her hair is, is pretty curly. Yeah. So 
So I put I put that on her hair, and it and plus she smells good. Yeah, it smells yeah. good. It oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah, it smells wonderful. It smells wonderful. But it's something that you know, it's a it's, great moisturizer. It makes mm -hmm. you, it smells. Yeah, it makes good. your hands nice and pretty. Your face. Nice. I mean, yeah. she uses it on her hair. Yeah. Cynthia uses it. She. I mean, it'd be a great beard oil too. Yeah, that's actually. You really idea. should try it for your beard because it would got be any extra. Yeah, it'd be a great beard oil. Yeah, that's actually a good idea because it's really nice and the nice thing about it is it doesn't leave you greasy so you can pick up papers and stuff after using it and you don't get grease all over everything yeah yeah so but it's it's a great it's, it's a, a great, great product and product it lasts a long time again these are luxury items and see and, to me this is not luxury this is oh well, it brings normalcy normal. this is normal yeah. this is because i know i'm saving money by buying these because they last a long time mm -hmm. i'm not wasting money buying products i know that i probably yeah. won't like yeah. And to me, that's just, it's just part of our life. And you take these away from me and I'm going to feel very deprived. Yeah. You know, but you can, you can you consider this is $30. It's going to last me four months or five months. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cheap for yeah. skincare. Yeah. And, then, and yes. yeah. So these two things. So you're, you're paying, but a little bit, like Katie said, or Holly said, a little bit goes a long way. A little way. bit goes a long way. And yep. so it's, well you're, you're it. well worth, and they're, they just, they're, they're good investments. Yeah. And the things. Moroccan oil too is good because I use it. I put it on Sarah. And if you start using it on your beard, you will find out it a is good idea. great. Yeah. It is a great oil period. Mm -hmm. You can put it around your eyes. You can, you could honestly put it anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, anywhere. and the um, Mary Kay is a very it's an emollient so when sarah gets a cut or something if she doesn't want me to put medicine on i put the mary Kay ointment on it she thinks it's a healing ointment and it really is because it has helped me mm -hmm. i've put it on so many times i've had cuts and bruises and scrapes and stuff and i actually even used to use it i had a colleague <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i've got a cold working on me i had a collie and i used to put it on his nose I'd rub it on his nose because he had this long, long nose and it would keep his nose nice and, and moisturized too. We called it nose gooey because I just put the nose stuff all over the collie's nose. So a lot of it, useless information you probably don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> but you're just saying it's got many uses. So second, second derm salve. Do you know any replacement for second derm salve? That stuff was brilliant. I can't find. I've never heard I've of that. I've never heard of that. I will search that out. Psychoderm. Psychoderm yeah, salve. salve. I'll search that out and see yep. what it, what it was and see if they if they're not making any more. That's too bad because it looks like you really liked it. Mm -hmm. So I'll check that out. Now for guys, again, our self care. One was was the Tiger Balm and the, <laughs> the Absorbing <laughs> Junior. That's right, over fifty. But. Uh, this is what I use because it is drier up here in, in Virginia. And so I'm noticing my Goldbond skin is dry. Great but this is a, the men's, you know, Gold Bond Ultimate Men's uh, Essential. And Ooh, uh, some rocket really good stuff. Here. And uh, I use it all the time. But I find myself drying out and everything. And, you know, it has a good smell and everything. So when you're out in the field or when you're doing or during the morning, like, at least you're smelling good for your wife, which is yes, an important thing. It is an important thing. You know, I'm going to put all these links in there. I mean, not that you guys need to go buy them, but if you ever do decide to buy them, we've got the links so you get the right product. Because trust me, I've used so many hundreds and hundreds of products over the years. And I have bought the wrong thing many times. This, you know, again, talk about Gold smelling bond. good. Um this is something that Cynthia loves, and this is made by Clubman. Clubman and is just, it's just, it's normal... just the barbershop stuff. Yeah. If anybody, all y'all who are older folks and everything, older guys, go to the barber and everything, you see all the Clubman products. This is a Clubman product, and you know, but you can buy three of these for what 26 bucks. This is an or this is a smell that uh Cynthia loves, and you know. Oh uh, during an SHTF, the oil in the yes, hair Holly, I was just reading Holly's will post. also keep lice away, keeps them mm -hmm. from laying eggs. That hair. is very true because it, it smothers them. They can't breathe if you have oil in your hair. That's a great thing. That is a really smart because my daughter came home from her dad's house one time eons ago and he sent her home. She was probably seven, sent her home from Texas to me in Missouri and she had head lice. He had sent her to a daycare where he knew they had head lice, and she came home with head lice. Wonderful. And she had more hair than any person should be allowed by law to have, and we had to take literal oil and oil her hair from the tops to the bottoms and keep it on 
for a couple of days to smother the lights because there was no other way to get them out. Mm -hmm. That is really smart, Holly. That is really true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Hopefully we will. And that's something you got to think about. We'll have to deal with that. I'm sure with Sarah, as she gets older in mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. It was a dermal extraction salve that could draw tiny slivers out of your skin. Wow, I've never heard huh, of that. I wonder if it's a Dr. Watson's product. Uh, look into in, look into something called Watkins, and uh, I think they have a website in, or Wat, Watkins Watsons. Um, but they make a lot Do you of. You make the Castile soap? Uh, no, that's Castile. Oh, that was Castile. Yeah, Watsons makes. Uh, they make all kinds of interesting salves hmm. and and things like that. But uh, going back to Guy's personal care, um, you want to smell good, man. You're going to be out there working hard and sweating hard and stinking and everything. So it's important. And, and this, is a, this is the aroma that Cynthia loves. Mm -hmm. And it's inexpensive. And, and so you can just kind of bathe in it if you need to. You don't really. But, you know, it's, it's just a good aroma. And now another one. But there's something comforting to interrupt you here. There's something mm -hmm. comforting about when we've had a long day and it's bedtime and we both will take a bath. He gets in bed and I can smell these these clean smells on him. There's something comforting about that to me, to my spirit as a woman. Having I like it when you smell like clean. Clean like that. Yeah. Not that you're ever dirty, <laughs> but you, I like that. I like that just out of the shower, clean mm -hmm. smell. And you don't have to go to um, Macy's and buy the $120, you know, 1.7 ounce men's cologne to mm -hmm. get a really good smell mm -hmm. that you can afford. Mm -hmm. yeah, and this, the, the, these are all by Clubman. These are all by Clubman. Mm -hmm. uh, Amazon carries them and everything. But Clubman products is the stuff that you had in the barbershop. And so it's probably what your grandfather used to smell like when he after he come out of the. It barber. doesn't have an old man smell. It's no, not that old it's not, man smell. Not. It's just that good, clean. Yeah. You know, barbershop smell. Yeah, I'm gonna put and the everything. Link. Oops. Now, I just deleted that. Hang this on. This is something because uh, I do believe in like you know getting getting good quality things like that. This is. Uh, this is this is some of my favorite cologne. It's called 1821. It's it's got a leathery, mm -hmm. sweet leathery sort of smell. And then they have you know soap. Do I use this all the time? No, I don't. I only use this for special occasions. You know, if we're going we out to dinner that when we first well, four yeah, years ago we bought, bought this that. about four years ago, and yeah. it's still good. And then but the thing is, this is about eighty dollars a bottle. Yeah, but let's put the link at 77. It's it's you know it's four still, years old. It's four years old, but it's still I in fact I sprayed some on the other day and I could still smell it the following day. Um probably you know That's what in the, in the er, after church or something early church. afternoon, you know. So yeah, I think I yeah, I used it for church on and stuff, <laughs> and I still <laughs> smelled me. it like Sunday, Sunday noon around lunchtime and everything. It's like, oh wow, this still smells. So when you get a good cologne and everything, it does last very long. And but again, this is four years old. See how much is, is there? Yeah. Still smells great. It hasn't it hasn't gone bad or anything. Same thing with this. This is very pungent. Very. I mean, it smells just like this, but it is a body wash, and you don't need much. But you put this and this and. You know, during SHTF situation, you know, this is great for date night. Yeah, I was going to say that's good for date night. Alone. And and so these are things, you know, these are these are luxury items, but these are things that will make, you know, time and situations and everything a whole lot better. You're spending a lot of money, but it's it's basically your mental attitude and your mental fortitude is what's going to help you know and again like uh what holly or katie said it brings back not uh, normalcy mm -hmm. and so he also said cetaphil cleansing lotion is good too they use that on their nursing home patients when she was uh i guess a cna cetaphil are cetaphil has good products mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very good products and the same thing they go a long way mm -hmm. A long way. And that's our, yeah, these are things that. Cedar has great moisturizers too. Start, um, start uh, buying these things now. Um, I'm sending out, a, I'm posting a video tomorrow in regards uh, to what's just recently happened. And people are, it's not being reported on. 
And what's happened is that Putin has come out and said that they are now going to start um, buying everything and trading with using the yuan, the Chinese yuan. And then also they're going to open it up to start buying petroleum and other things with the BRICS nations. And BRICS stands for Brazil, India, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and uh, oh, yeah. South Africa. Oh. And those are the, the BRIC nations. And, and so they are probably going to start using the yuan to start buying petroleum and buying trade with each other and everything like that to basically start annexing the dollar. Now, another thing that happened is just this uh, past week, or just this week in itself, China, of all people, helped broker a deal, and it's a peace deal, between Saudi Arabia and Iran. And the big thing is, is Saudi Arabia is Sunni, and Iran is Shiite, or vice versa. But even though they're the same religion of Muslim, these two guys hate each other. Sunnis and Shias hate each other with a passion. Well, China brokered a peace deal between them, and now there's a peace deal between China, and, I mean, between uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran. This is huge news. One, these are huge oil producers, but Saudi Arabia is now talking about possibly joining BRICS. And so that would mean, uh, and then on top of that, uh, last late last year, or uh, around November time frame or something like that, uh, Saudi Arabia did not renew their oil contract or the petroleum agreement or whatever with uh, America. And that was like a 20 year uh, agreement. And so they did not renew that. And what that means is that now Saudi Arabia is able to take payment for oil in any currency that they want to. And so what that does is it now makes the dollar not the global reserve anymore, at least for petroleum. And so um, <coughs> this is a big deal and nobody is reporting on it. And so what we can start seeing with all the financial issues and all this other stuff, we can start seeing the comp, basically the demise of the dollar and go, you know, when when the dollar became the global reserve and took it away from England, now that's going to be starting to happen, you know, with us. And so it's going to severely affect the buying power of the dollar. And with everything that we got going on and everything, China's dumping, dumping their T-bills right now and, and so forth and so on. Get these things now because the buying power that you have now is you may not have it in you know 90 days 100 days a year from now or something but with everything going on globally and watch for my video i think i've got it scheduled to come up come on around 6 a.m tomorrow morning and yeah, but watch that i have uh putin talking and then i have a gentleman from uh i have jordan from the jordan report giving a spiel on this as well and and again Nobody's reporting on these things because everybody's worried about, you know, Mr. T and the stinking banks and, you know, Twinkie head and all these other things. And, you know, so there's a whole bunch of distractions going on where this is a big deal, folks. We can see our dollar greatly diminished because if we're no longer the global reserve, then, you know, that's going to kick a, kick a lot of it out. And uh, mm -hmm. since we are a debtor's nation, that's going to seriously impact as well. Nobody's going to want to hold on to our dollars. Nobody's going to buy our T-bills or anything else like that. They're going to be dumping them. And so, uh, but this is something that's kind of critical. And what I would highly suggest, folks, is, you know, start buying silver again, silver and gold, precious metals, get your, put your wealth in something because, you know, what is it? Uh, do I have that here? Yeah. Let's see here. Silver. This will, you know, four and one quarter of this will always buy a gallon of gas. One tenth of this will always buy a loaf of bread. Um, there are things that you can buy with silver and gold that have maintained their value no matter what. Uh, a, a gold dollar, a $20, you know, double eagle, 
will always buy a man's fine suit. And so back in the day, you know, it was $20 a gold piece. A gold piece will still buy a, a man's fine suit. Uh, there are still things that no matter what, the price of gold and silver will always buy no matter what. So what you're doing is you're protecting your buying power. You're protecting your wealth with this stuff. I like silver over gold because silver, right now the silver to gold ratio is something like uh, 75, 80 to 1. And uh, when... Ever there is economic collapse, economic uh, upheaval, the gold to silver ratio starts melt, you know, coming back together. The historical norm since the Greek empire has always been 15 to one because this was worth one man's, you know, a wage, you know, uh, remember when Judas, you know, sold Christ out for 30 pieces of silver, that was a month, you know, 30 pieces, months worth of pay, basically. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's interesting. But, uh, this is what a man used to earn was a one silver dollar a day. And, and so the historical norm was 15 to one. We're now sitting about 75, 80 to one to one piece of gold. And so whenever anything happens like that, the gold to silver ratio always comes back to one and one 15 to one. And so if you buy silver right now, when that gold to silver ratio comes back, you've instantly made massive amounts of buying power because you're having silver. So um, gold is great. Gold is great for big purchases, but you walk in, you know, during hard times, maybe fill up your tank, maybe, you know, get a loaf of bread, a Slurpee, you know, a stick of beef jerky and some of these other things and a gallon of milk and hand over one of these and the odds are they'll take it. So a lot of barter power. And as long as I'm talking about that, look into these too. These are called gold backs and these are actually impregnated gold. And so this is a uh, one two hundredth of an ounce of gold that has been impregnated into these. These are a great way to buy gold and have small amounts of gold on hand and everything. And heck, if you want to get your gold, melt the puppy down and you'll get your gold. But uh, these are great barterable items. They're becoming more and more popular throughout the states and legal tender. Uh, but this, this one is for Wyoming, the state of Wyoming. These are now legal to pay bills and everything in Wyoming. And uh, they're New Hampshire, Wyoming, Utah. Uh, I think North Dakota is coming on board here pretty soon. Uh, Texas is going to be coming on here pretty soon. And uh, so more and more states are looking at bringing back gold and silver as a means to also pay you know, it was, uh, your bills and, and everything, taxes and, and such. In Utah, you can go pay your taxes with this. So, uh, but, you know, start looking and I highly suggest to start getting some gold and silver on hand. Uh, particularly, I love silver just because the gold to silver ratio is so high. And, you know, when SHTF does happen, your gold to silver ratio will come back together and your silver will be a lot worth a whole lot more. One of these during the Weimar Republic bought a house, uh, a gold, silver dollar bought a city block. So, you know, it just tells you what you need to do. And so I use a, a JM Bullion as well as APMX. Look into both of them. Those are both good companies. I lean more towards JM Bullion, um, better prices, and they have free shipping, where APMX will will charge you shipping and stuff like that. But uh, get this: uh, these this story is not being reported. Watch for my video tomorrow to come out around six a.m. and watch these two videos. You'll be blown away. I mean, I was I was blown away because what we're seeing is we're seeing the erosion of our dollar. And it's going to severely affect people because they're not going to be able to buy as much for the greenback right. anymore. It's going to cost more. So by having this on hand, this will protect your wealth and help store your wealth. And what happens then, like in Argentina and Venezuela, what you do is you go in, trade these for a stack of greenbacks. And uh, that's how you get some people. Oh, you can't eat gold and silver. Well, you can barter with it. You can trade it in and, you know, trade it in for for dollars and pay your bills and you know, everything was like that. So, but uh, yeah. Anything else? Yeah. I was just going to say, um, Linda was saying that there was a chocolate factory that blew up near mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. Is that, is that, was that a Hershey chocolate? I don't know. Factory? Um, I actually, if you're in my, in my uh, telegraph news group, I reported that basically when it happened, uh, there's video 
on my Telegraph news group. You don't know if it was Hershey or not? Uh, it's in, somewhere in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. It was just say it was a chocolate factory. They didn't identify okay. what it, who, and everything. But I got a video of it blowing up. Wow. Well, just wait and, it's Hershey since they had so much yeah, controversy over there. It might. I don't know. She. Yeah. Yeah. Her, yeah. She. yeah. We, yeah. We're now buying Hershey products anymore. So, yeah. you know, any of these woke companies. I just, you know, yeah, I just, if they can't put a woman in there, then I think that's, I think that's just degrading to women who are truly women and do truly great things in this world. Especially when this is international, what, you know, Women's Month or something like that. Yeah, that's what it was. All the awards oh, so Palmer's far. Chocolate. Really, Palmer's, Palmer's chocolate. Palmer's does a lot of Easter candy. I mean, that's what we always see at Easter time mm -hmm. is Palmer's out. Wow. Mm -hmm. Huh. So, and they're always talking about the layoffs too. There are a lot of layoffs coming. Um, Going to see more. Katie said where she lives, there's 4,400 just had a paper or whatnot. They're closing and laying off 1,100 people. Yeah, and we're going to see more and more of that too. Yeah, I mean as inflation hits mm -hmm. and as the dollar demises and as more and more things happen, as we're seeing more financial institutions, you know, mm -hmm. becoming, you know, insolvent and everything. It's going to affect. I, 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 I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of Trump, and I truly believe that if we can get him back in office, he might be able to set the ship straight at least a little bit more again, and kick the can down there and stop the globalists and all this other junk that's going on. But God help us if you know the other party gets in and it will destroy our nation. More and, than it's being destroyed you know, right there's, now. So it's crazy. So mm -hmm. you know. Uh, when that time comes, get out and vote. Uh, anything I else? I didn't talk about makeup. We'll during talk the, about makeup. The women time. This will make this real quick. What time is it? Uh, you. It is one oh, or ten after. Okay. One thing I used to do is I used to only go and buy. Um, I used to buy Smashbox makeup all the time. That's what I use. Smashbox or Mac makeup because they were. I just thought they were super great makeups. But now that we're trying to consolidate our, our savings and keep more money in the bank, I can't justify that anymore. It's just not something that's in my budget. But I have found this brand at Dollar Tree. It's called LA Colors. This particular uh, suite of colors is exactly like the same thing I bought through Lorac. I got it through Sephora, mm -hmm. Lorac Makeup. And they also had um, MAC Cosmetics, same exact colors, makeup goes on just the same exact way, lasts forever, and it was $1.25. So $1.25. This is the other one I got because I like both, I like all these colors. I like mm -hmm. these colors real well. Also, I was buying a $12 um, eyeliner just for the, the dark eyeliner, and I found this at the Dollar Tree, $1.25, works just as good as the other one I had. And I was buying, <laughs> I was buying um, eyelashes, fake eyelashes for you like. You wear fake eyelashes? I have some on right now, aren't they? Tiny? No. Yeah. Anyway, I was buying those and they were like three, four or five dollars a pair. And I went to the Dollar Tree and they had the ex exact same thing at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. And if you're careful and you do them right, you can wear them more than once. Yeah, <laughs> but that's just great savings. I mean, mm -hmm. I bought lipstick and I bought powder. Mm -hmm. So I spent one, two, three, four, five, like six, six dollars. I already had mascara on new makeup and it's wonderful makeup. I bet it comes from the same factory that where Smashbox mm -hmm. and everything else, Laura Geller. And I bet it comes from the same factory. Money saved is money earned. Yeah. Yeah. You so know. I don't feel guilty now if I go in there and say, oh, I want some new makeup. I don't feel guilty going in and spending a dollar mm -hmm. twenty five. Because I know I'm going to have it forever. Mm -hmm. you know, now, I'm would you buy this in bulk? Up. Or can you buy this and, um, and store you cannot it? Use, if you use it, you cannot keep it. Okay. Once you've used the product on your face, you're going to have germs. So does this have like a best buy date or something like that? You know, I like don't that? know. You'd have to look. And I mean, it is it would be worth to buy extra of this? I do. I buy in? a couple of the time just because I like the colors and yeah. you can't always find it. Dollar Tree, you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. So I bought, I think, three of these and... And so buying in bulk. Two of these. Yeah. Yeah. So and you I'll have just it on keep, hand. But once you've opened it and used it, any yeah. kind of product that you use on your face within, I think, six months, you're supposed to, mm. to get rid of it. I don't because I've never had a problem with using makeup that was older than that. Mm -hmm. But in in 
good real life. You're not supposed to use makeup mm -hmm. over a certain age because it does have the tendency to get mm -hmm. germs on it. But then I wash my makeup brushes and everything often. Yeah. So I try to keep them clean. But yeah, Linda what a Bob great, says that that's a great brand. Yeah, it is a great brand. LA Colors. It is just as good as the MAC makeup I was buying and the Smashbox makeup I was buying. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was really excited to come across that because now I don't feel guilty buying makeup because mm -hmm. I was feeling really guilty. And like these, are, these are good things that will make you feel good. Oh, during yeah. SHTF situation and everything. Yeah, so absolutely. stock up, get them and, you know, do it now. Yeah. Yeah. You so know. that was my other thing I wanted to talk about was I found these, this great brand of makeup that's not expensive and mm -hmm. has great colors and stays on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there cool. you go. Yeah. So it is now one. It's oh, time we've to been get here off. one hour and nine minutes. Yeah, Anybody have any quick late. questions or anything like that, real quickly? Do me a favor, watch for that video uh, that I'm pop I'm going to be. It's scheduled to go out tomorrow at six a.m. It'll blow you away, and uh, it's just it, and, and it's amazing to me that this is not being reported anywhere. Amazing. And, and well, when the when the train when they blew the train up, they didn't report it for days too. after that. Days that and too. days. But this is this is huge news, and it will seriously affect. And if the BRICS nations really start moving to the one, which is you know the 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 plan, then it's going to really affect the dollar. So, you know, which is it is yeah. Um, this. Get this. Yeah, so, uh, who was saying was it? Yes, Holly just said we're definitely on biblical times. Yeah, yes, totally agree. My whole life, I've always thought you know people would say oh, that, that you know. Jesus is coming back, the the rapture and everything. And I always kind of poo-poo it because I thought every generation has thought that. Mm -hmm. Every generation has said Jesus is coming back soon. But you know what? It is getting, Pretty every crazy. day it is getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Mm -hmm. Women are no longer women. Men are no longer men. You know, it's just it's just crazy. We're, we're, we're taking our police departments down. You know, I look at the world and I think, well, are these, am I crazy or is the rest of the world crazy? Because none of this makes any sense to me. Yeah. So, so, and then, yeah, thank you, Linda. Do us yes. a favor. If you guys have been new here and you've enjoyed this time together with us and everything, like, subscribe, and share, and then ring mm -hmm. that little bell so you get notified whenever we post new videos and come on live and so forth. And, and then, also, may I say, I just want to thank people as you watch the videos, Raymond is getting getting credit for every hour that somebody watches one of his videos he is at 2200 hours no, i'm at right 2364 2364 hours now we've got to hit 4000 then he gets to do something different with youtube so 4000 is the magic number so as you guys watch those videos thank you because yeah. the longer you have it on the more credit he gets in his hours. So Go watch really... our playlists. I've got some playlists below or hit the play all button. Or... <laughs> Just... so, but... so anyway, thank you for doing yeah, it. Thank, thank you for you. tuning in. We really have enjoyed doing yeah, this. We enjoy I love, these nights. I love the comments back because yeah. I know Cedarville is a great cleaning lotion. You don't need to have water with mm -hmm. it. You mm -hmm. know, Linda had said go out and the cost of um, clothing, coats and everything yeah. go up. Yep. And we've been, my next stop was going to start being at the, um, not the Goodwill. What's the one here that is? I don't um, know, Ross? No, or... no, 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 no. It's like a Goodwill. But there's Salvation one Army? Here, yeah, there's one here that's that that the money goes to help people that are really down and out. I can't think of the I name. I have no of it. idea. But yes, that's a good thing, too. His mother goes to the Goodwill. His mother is the classiest, most beautiful woman you'd ever want to see. I mean, she just has class oozing out of her pores. Mm -hmm. And she comes out with glows from Talbot's. I mean, she she has this golden touch. She walks in there and just finds the greatest stuff. She'll have this beautiful sweater on for like $12 she got at the Goodwill. Mm -hmm. And and that's smart. That's smart shopping. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart shopping. So anyway, so, I'll quit talking because we, we're late yeah. getting off. <laughs> so folks, you can like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. Just thank you. We just want to thank yeah. you, know, Holly, Katie, Linda, yeah. Uh, Larry, we saw you, Maccabus, uh, uh, I think, who else was in here? Yeah. Let's scroll up really quick. Uh, Holly. I don't know who's Estelle. Of course, Holly, yes, go down. It's still, let's see, it's Holly. still water purification. It's still water purification. We, I don't know who you We had are. an interview have... with him. Oh, you did? Yeah. That is, oh my Robert? goodness. Yeah. Oh, okay. We know who you, I know that. Okay. Awesome then. Yeah. Awesome. So, 
Yeah, he's got a great thing going. You're probably going to, you didn't interview, you're going to be Yeah, post, I'm going to be correct? posting. I'm sorry I haven't got that yet. It's yeah. been crazy. I've been meaning to edit that video, so it will be Robert edited. McDonald? Mc... No. Robert Johnson. Johnson. I thought it was. Um, I know I'm saying, no, that's not. So. Robert. Oh, sure. Robert. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was, it was a Scottish name since we. Yeah, it was Robert. Uh... Now both of us are going we're blank. Both... I totally blank. embarrassing. That's, but check normal. out his still water purifications. <laughs> that's <you know>. my normal. <laughs> uh, we got a we got a video coming up here where I did an interview with with the CEO of his still water purifications. What he's got is a solar still that is quite incredible. Quite impressive. And so it's very oh, very impressive. Like is he's Scottish. Yes, I'm Scottish. Yep. Cool dude. He's kilted. Yeah. He's always kilted. But that's everything. All right. Actually. Thank you guys for. Yeah, tuning thank you so much in. for it tuning in, having fun. Uh, next week. Uh, don't know what we'll do next week, but we might have some food involved. I don't yeah, know. let's do something we can cook and then taste. Eaten. So, so we can eat, here, we can, eat, and we, eat dinner. Well, at least and we can tell them if it's, if it's worth buying yeah. once we've tasted it. I'll get some of that TVP. Yeah, let's do that. Vegetable protein. And then we can try that and see if it's worth eating yeah. or if it's just going to be horrible. Yeah, if any feed is the dogs. So, but that works for me. I'm Raymond. And Cynthia, thanks for tuning in. It was fun. Yep. We'll see you. Goodbye. Bud. God bless. And kill time. Kill time.